Hello, my name is Jarl Kubat with West USA Realty and Arizona Retirement Communities. I'm out in Johnson Ranch. It's not actually a retirement community, but we're in a, a newer subdivision of Johnson Ranch called Spur Creek. It's uh, This little subdivision area is uh, built by Highland Homes, and we're going to show you a brand new home out here, and they've got some pretty decent pricing on this. This home is... Uh, 2,400 square foot, four bedrooms and a two and a half car garage with a four foot extension on the garage. Very, very nice home. This part of Johnson Ranch. We're close to swimming pools and tennis courts. And if you do want fitness centers, the YMCA is in Copper Basin, which is probably about three, three and a half miles from uh, where we're at, where this house sits, okay? Very nice area. I got some state land around us, pretty close to us. Coming at you today, we got a dust storm out in the distance and uh, the rest of the valley is getting hit. I think we're on the far eastern edge. This home sits on the lot, north-south. It's facing south and uh, the backyard is north. Very nice home. The price on this home, flooring is done. You're gonna have some window blinds in and you're gonna have to put in a refrigerator and a washer and dryer. Uh, priced at 204, the front yard landscaping is included at that purchase price, okay? So uh, there's a look there. We're looking down the street to the east. This is uh, kind of an end street, uh, not really a cul-de-sac, but it feels like one. It curves around to the corner here. A lot of these homes are owned by retirees, uh, seasonal that are here four to six months out of the year. Canada, Montana, uh, North Dakota, Michigan area. Uh, but a lot of these were uh, retirees buying out here. This is looking straight across the street from you to the south. Some of these are contractors' uh, vehicles and sales just finishing up this street here these homes were built. Don't have too many left in this area. That's state land down to the end of the street there. Hopefully we're not making it too dizzy. Uh, your wife Kathy and your friend Dee. We've looked at a lot of houses and this is the second choice here. She says she's liked Johnson Ranch in the past, but uh, we're gonna show you this house. Just absolutely beautiful. Here we are stepping into the front here. Closet. We got nice, uh, I believe we got uh, 14, maybe 16 inch tile. We got nine foot ceilings. This front area is kind of a, a formal living. We're gonna catch that as we come back out here. We've got granite countertops. And there are the ladies that have been giving me so much grief the last two days. <laughs> this house owes me a finger now. Nice tile floors. Very nice upgraded tile. Master bedroom is to the far back there. And the guest bedrooms, which there are three over there. Three, bed, three guest bedrooms. This is a four bedroom home, master and, um, and uh, three guest bedrooms, all nice size. The house is gonna include a microwave and a oven and a dishwasher. You'll have to buy a refrigerator and a washer and dryer. All of the bedrooms are wired for ceiling fans. You will need uh, ceiling fans uh, in the bedrooms, but there are lights in them now. And then here's the master bedroom. There are no two-story houses in this subdivision. They're all single level. You don't have any two stories looking into your back backyard. The fence is at least five, if not closer to six foot high, all block. This is the master bedroom. You've got nice high 42 inch counters with double sinks. But we 
you've got a separate tower, a separate shower and a separate tub and a large uh, walk-in closet. We'll take you out in the backyard here and show you the backyard. Kathy has taken pictures of another house just like this that had the backyard landscaping all done. That house was uh, $40,000 higher than what this house is and there wasn't any room for negotiating in it. Um, and you can finish the backyard and the blinds in the house for much less, uh, much less than what that one was priced at. But this is your backyard. You do have to do your backyard landscaping. Yeah. It's only about four foot deep. So here's our three bedrooms, and these are very nice sized bedrooms. They're all large compared to any other resale homes in any community. Um, th these bedrooms are about three foot longer and probably a foot or two wider than most of the other bedrooms. So makes these uh, rooms very functional. Got nice walk-in closets. Again, the they're all wired. Uh, they all have lights in them. You may want to put some ceiling fans in some of them. And then here's our guest bathroom, and uh, we've got a just a shower in here, high-rise stools. And then here's our laundry room with lots of storage in it, and uh, the washer and dryer go right on this back wall here. And we'll see that as we come in from out of the garage here. Uh, very nice garage. I mean, you just don't find these in in the older style houses at all. Uh, this house uh, already has a water softener in it. That's about $1,500 to put one of those in. The whole home is built on a post-tension slab, which means it's built on a grid system with uh, you know thick cables running on a grid system all the way through the house and the garage. Uh, and that helps with settling. And that costs an extra seven to $10,000 on a house this size at build time. They weren't doing that in houses back pre-2000 for the most part. Very rare to find it. This garage has a four-foot extension, and it's actually a two-and-a-half car garage. I don't have the exact dimensions on it, but a beautiful garage. All the other houses we looked at, we don't have anything like this. They're just standard. Uh, we got an exterior door. That's a $1,000 upgrade when you originally build the house. And our hot water heater sits over there. I believe it's a 50-gallon hot water heater, and it is gas. Again, if you've stumbled into this video looking for a home in an Arizona retirement community for yourself or looking for a vacation home that's not in a retirement community, please uh, give me a call. My name is Jarl Kubat, and you can reach me at 480-710-6326 or go to my website at www.justjarl.com. That's J-U-S-T-J-A-R-L.com. You'll find over 75 plus links to retirement communities throughout the valley. And if a retirement community isn't for you, I'll help you find that perfect vacation home. So here we are back here in the laundry room 
large laundry room and a gas or electric dryer. And then again, these were your three extra bedrooms and your guest bath. Beautiful kitchen, granite countertops well, again. I'm sorry, I think about what they're willing to. And then that is a food pantry right there. Nice large food pantry. And then this is, like I said, that when I first came in, I didn't spin you around. But this is a, a family room. A formal family could be used as a den. Again, uh, thank you for watching this video. If you're looking for a home in Arizona, please give me a call. You can reach me at 480-710-6326. And Larry, if you have any questions about any of these homes, uh, please give me a call. I've got all the information and uh, Kathy will be talking to you as well. Look forward to meeting you in person and I truly appreciate your business. Thank you.